mean, amazing, Jack. You're probably watching yesterday's market action and thinking, you know, my stock held up. But you just raised, what, a, a billion dollars in free cash flow estimates? We did, Brian. First, thanks for having me on the show. And um, I mean, it's nice to finally get recognized as being a, such a critical energy uh, provider to Europe, right? As you know, 70% of our cargoes this year alone have went to Europe. Um, each cargo, uh, one cargo is is enough uh, heat for a million European people for a month. So it's, uh, you know, it's it's all working. Production has been really strong. Uh, we produce two tankers a, a day right now. All right. Go back into that, because you, you probably heard me say this, Jack, and I know that we know each other. I'm not saying this to stroke your ego or LNG or your company or employees, but you guys are literally, you and others, by the way, there's others, that are saving Europe. So repeat that stat. Each shipload of American LNG is one million German homes for a month. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, we're, we're sending out two a day. We 70% have went to Europe, and we expect to continue to do that. And we've been extremely reliable this year. So, um, um, you know, it's all working. And that allowed us to raise our capital allocation plan. Uh, we call it capital allocation or uh, plan 2.0. Uh, so it's all working. Yeah. How much of this are deals that you have made with Europe versus the Europeans going to some of your Asian buyers and saying, I know the ship's already gone through the Panama Canal, but would you mind us taking that ship off your hands? They can resell it to Europe, probably at a huge profit, by the way. How much of, of Europe's business is that versus direct cargoes? No, it's a little bit of both, Brian, because th this year we had the benefit of completing two of our trains a year ahead of schedule. So that gave us 10 million tons that were for Chenier's benefit. We also de-bottlenecked and uh, completed a lot of maintenance optimization and that gave us another 5 million tons. So we had 15 million tons at our benefit that we could send directly to Europe. Um, and you're right. Some of it is uh, Asia and uh, especially China and what they're going through now with their COVID uh, uh, outbreaks again yeah. and the fact that their demand has come off. So they're sending it all to Europe to take advantage of the higher prices. Well, but, I, do, uh, I do worry then about what, if, I mean, God, you, you wonder what President Xi is doing over in China. It's almost insane. But if they start buying a bunch of gas again because they reopen their economy full blast, what's that going to mean for, for Europe? That's the worry. It's going it's to be a tough winter for Europe. Uh, it, and and at, as you know, they've been working on filling their storage. I saw Dan Jurgen on, uh, on CNBC this morning. Um, they're 84% full, but that's not enough no. uh, to, to last them the whole entire winter. So it could be very, very difficult. And uh, we intend to do our part to try to help out as much as we can.